So welcome everybody. Welcome to Channeling Career. So today is August the 15th, 2021. As before, let's do a brief meditation before I go into the channeling part of this evening. So all of you just take a deep breath in and let it all go. Take another deep breath in and let it all go. Take another deep breath in and let it all go. And as you continue to follow the rhythm of your own breathing, Every time you breathe in, imagine that you're breathing in infinite possibilities. And as you are breathing out, breathe out anything that is taking your attention away from this moment. So that as you breathe in and out, you'll be able to Come more into yourself, center within yourself in this moment. Be with yourself, be with your body, be with the feeling in your body, be with the beingness of you. In this moment, come all the way into this moment with yourself. No need to think about what happened before, nor look into the future. Just be here in this moment with yourself. Come into yourself. With each breath, be more present to who you are being in this moment. And let go. It is easy to be you. You don't have to pretend anything. You don't have to prepare for anything. It's very simple. Simply be you in this moment. And allow yourself to be grounded to yourself in this moment. And simply allow you to be enough. You are all that you needed and wanted in this moment. Nothing else matters. It is easy to be you. So relax. Let go of pretending. Let go of expectations. Let go of judgment. Let go of any particular label 
that you have put on yourself, that you have put on you in this moment. Simply be. And in this moment, choose unconditional love. Choose it for yourself and choose it for all of humanity. Choose unconditional love. Whatever unconditional love means to you. Choose to feel it in your heart and choose to feel it in your body. And see if this resonates with you. And if it does not, it's okay to unchoose it. Choose it for now and really feel into it and see if you like how it feels like in your body in this moment. drop inside in your body, drop inside you, drop inside this pool of who you are. Feel what it feels like to be you. Have no judgment, have no expectation. You're simply feeling what it feels like to be you in this moment. Should you feel any tension in your body? Drop more into that tension. To understand what it is about. No need to fight it. Simply seek to learn more about it. Learn more about any sensation in your body. It is not easy to be human in this moment. If it were easy, everyone 
would be doing it. It takes integrity. It takes a lot of authenticity to be in this moment, to be with yourself, with your naked self, without any pretense, without any expectations or judgments. It is much easier to look forward, to expect something different. It is also much easier to look back and judge. It is not so easy though to be in this moment. and be completely present to whatever it is that is coming up. Inside you. And that is why it is so important to be in this moment. When you're completely present with yourself, with what actually is going on for you in this moment, and handle whatever it is that is coming up for you in this moment. discipline. It certainly is a discipline because we've been so accustomed to not dealing with what's in front of us. We have not been taught how to deal with what's in front of us. We've been taught to feel good, to seek enjoyment, to seek avoidance that we have forgotten that to actually deal with something the moment it comes about and actually move through that how much joy that actually is to be free, to be free of yesterday's baggage, to be able to handle what's in front of us in the moment so that nothing gets left undone so that we don't need to carry anything that's left over from the previous moment. That freedom, that is joy. That is real joy to be 
light, to be free to respond in this moment. to connect with all of our creator self, to feel what it feels like, to have confidence that whatever happens next, you would be able to handle because you have been handling what is in front of you all along. That is mastery. That is true mastery. It is now time for us to get back to this level of mastery by simply handling what's in front of us right now. Sometimes what's in front of us right now may be as simple as just breathe. Just breathe in fresh air of summer to simply smell freshly cut grass or simply to enjoy sunshine while it is here and now. to be able to enjoy the sunshine right now without having to deal with the old traumas that has been burning in the back burner. That is joy, to be able to Take in what's available in this moment. And simply be with someone, a companion, to be with who they are in this moment, not who they were yesterday or 10 years ago, but who they are in this moment and be who you are in this moment. Not 50 years ago when something else happened that made something traumatic happen. It is a joy to be able to not let that version of you cloud who you are in this moment. To be able to be you, to enjoy who you are with what you have in this moment. is joy, is true joy.
to be able to let go of all the labels, to let go of all the expectations from yourself, and also let go of the expectations from other people, to simply be who you are in this moment. And to accept who you are in this moment. And that is real joy. That is true contentment. And when you have this contentment within, and you have this mastery within, you would understand that everyone else can have this mastery, can have this contentment as well. if they wish to and to also understand their potential as you understand your own potential you truly understand that everyone else has the same potential. They have the same opportunity. And that your job is not to pull them up your job is really to share. To share by example. It's not necessarily for you to share with words. I share by example. When you live your life in the moment and become good, become masterful at it, become easy when you practice dealing with everything as who you are in this moment. And get good at it and become proficient at it. And become experienced at it. You are setting an example that other people can
can see even without you ever having to say a word. Should you choose to say and share by words. and share it without expectation, without judgment. Because you understand that everyone else have the same potential, have the same capabilities. We all have that within us, that ability and capability, should we choose to exercise it, should we choose to experience it, should we choose to become masterful at it. It is a choice that each person choose for themselves. Everyone has their own soul journey. And the soul journey is mysterious. Is this not something that the people beside you would be able to comprehend? Your journey is unique. No one is more than or less than. Everyone is simply different. We have different schedule. We have different time frame. It makes it not practical to judge because we don't know what someone else is dealing with within them. We can barely hear our own conversations let it alone someone else's conversation. And we each have this conversation, this running commentary. That is sometimes assisting us and sometimes confusing us. But if you look within, you will understand, you will start to find that there is another conversation. 
another part of you that is rock solid. Another part of you that knows the direction to go. It may not seem so. Because sometimes the direction could be one step forward and two steps back. There does not seem to be any rhyme or reason to it. Rhyme or reason is a mind's game. The soul's journey has a different sort of rhyme and reason. Sometimes in order to go forward, you may need to go backwards. They may not be logical to your mind, but it is logical to your soul. Because your soul's journey is, is not just about how much or how fast you can grow. It's not the quantity, it's also the quality as well. It's how you grow not how fast you grow. How do you grow a soul? How do you grow a soul? A human soul to become a creator soul. How do you take a human understanding to grow it into a creator source understanding? It is not a linear progression. It is a spiral. You move forward and then you loop back and then you continue on in a spiral. You're going towards a destination that is not a straight progression. So don't try to be logical.
it is much more helpful to be you. To check in with yourself. To check in with who you are in this moment. And what is coming up for you to move through in this moment. And to be completely present with what is coming up. At first, you may not notice all the things that are coming up. You may only be able to deal with the first five things that's coming up for you. And you would have missed a thousand other, and that's okay. It's a practice. And when you keep on practicing being in this moment, noticing who you are and noticing everything that's coming up, and noticing what you are not noticing. And you will find that you get to be able to notice more as time goes on. As time goes on, when you practice more, to be authentic and in this moment, to do the best you can to see what is going on. You'll be able to notice more. By next week, you may be able to notice 20 things out of the thousand. And at some point, maybe a month from now, maybe a year, who knows, you will be able to notice all a thousand of the little things that are coming up for you in this moment. when you know that no matter where, no matter how many things are being thrown at you, that your senses has become so fine-tuned, yet that you will be able to respond and catch all of the bits of information that's coming at you and resolve all of them as fast as they come at you. You get to live at a different level. you feel so much more alive. This is 
spiritual maturity. You trust yourself. You trust. And that's when the game of life becomes fun. Because life no longer is something that you have to endure. Life becomes easy. Because you have found a way, you have trained yourself to handle whatever life throws at you. That's when life becomes a game. And that's when life truly becomes magical. And you become the creator of your life, which you have always been. You just have not trained yourself to notice this is where we are going. This is worth practicing. Practicing to be present, to hear and now, and notice what you notice. You will become more and more intuitive because events does not happen out of the blue. Events are created and with every creation there is a trail of energy that you can track. When you practice noticing what you notice in the moment, you are in fact training yourself to notice the energy that precedes creation of events. So you will never be caught off guard anymore. Because before something actually happened to you, you already know that it is going to happen long before it actually hits you. And you would have handled it long before something becomes problematic. This is a gift of presence. 
when you are in the moment. And you notice what you notice. You would have all the information that you need to handle everything that is going to happen. Trust that. Trust that you would never give yourself more than you can handle. You are the creator. So drop into the creator within yourself. Notice what you notice in the moment. And flourish. Practice how to flourish. It is all within you. is all we would like to share with you this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.